Okay, so first of all, please excuse my dishevelled appearance. I have had a day, a day. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry if my hair is a mess and I've got my big cardi on because it's freezing in the gym where you know I film. It is very late in the day, so I'm sorry if the lighting is not as good as it usually is, but I just got my hands on the brand new L'Oreal Infallible Sticks right here and I just could not wait. I wanted to show you them as soon as possible. So if like me, you wanted to run out and get them immediately, then you can first see how I get on with them. So let's get started. So if you don't know, these L'Oreal Infallible Sticks, they have matte ones, which are to be used for foundation, for concealer, for contouring. Um, and then they also have a couple of blush sticks and four highlighting sticks in all different shades. These have literally just come out. You can get them on Boots Online and they were also in my lo local Boots store. So shout out to the girls in the Boots Trowbridge because they didn't even know what I was talking about when I asked them about these and they went out and found them in the storeroom for me. So thank you so much. So yeah, go and check your local Boots and make sure you ask if they are not on the shelves because they are brand, 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 brand new and people don't know about them yet. They are each $8.99 and they each have nine grams of product, which is about the same as the NYX Wonder Sticks, if you're asking, and is about 300 times more than the Kim Kardashian Sticks, if you're also wondering. Because it is three for two in Boots at the moment, I picked up that one of their new primers as well, uh, because I was just kind of tempted to see how it worked with their own products, and I chose the Anti-Fatigue Primer because I have two preschool children, so... I need this. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with the primer, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like lotion. I wasn't expecting that. It's like very, very runny and it literally just squirted all over my hand. It's also like a peach, a very peach color. So I wasn't expecting that either. I think I was, I don't know what I was expecting. I do not know. So they have like a color correcting one and they have um, a brightening one which is this one and then they also have a like pore refining one as well so this was just the one that kind of appealed to me because I like to be brightened I mean what's happening I've literally gone orange going in nicely it isn't like balling up which is like my nightmare with primers you know when they start to like get all crumbly on the skin and given that I had to like take my makeup off and then start again. I was kind of expecting that to happen, but not at all. It's gone on really nicely. It's like completely dissolved. It feels really soft. It doesn't feel tacky. Maybe slightly, maybe slightly. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with foundation, obviously. So this is the sticks. They really like the packaging. They're like amazing to travel with. They remind me, like the range reminds me of the matchsticks from Rihanna, but well, obviously, don't stick together sadly but yeah they're plastic but you know they look nice they look really chic um, and obviously they're really good for travel plastic but so I went for the shade sand which is 160 and there aren't many shades in this this is how much you get in the tube hopefully this looks like a decent match for me I guess I'm just gonna whack it straight on and then we'll see if like my beauty blender won't do the job. We'll go in with the brush. Okay, it's a really good match. So I'm around an NC 25 to 30. It does actually feel really creamy. I really wasn't expecting it to feel creamy. I thought it was gonna be like tugging, you know, and quite dry, but it's really creamy. Let's try with the beauty blender. Generally with stick foundations, like a brush is gonna be better. It's not doing a bad job, you know. It's not doing a bad job. These are supposed to be like 24 hour wearing and buildable coverage. I'm gonna switch over to the brush just to see if it's any different result. They are matte, obviously these ones, so something to note if that's not your foundation bag. I think I prefer the sponge, you know, which I wasn't expecting. It is leaving brush strokes when I'm using the brush, so. I think I'm preferring the sponge because it really wasn't having any issues blending out of the sponge like I expected it to. I'm really happy with the shade. It's maybe like 
a hair too light for me against my body, but it's pretty close to like my face and my neck. Just gonna put a little bit more and see if I can build that up. It says it's buildable, customizable coverage. I mean, it's definitely a decent medium at this point. And it's also, although it is, I guess it is matte. I mean, maybe more of a satin actually. Now, because we are so late in the day, it is like literally like seven o'clock here, then I can't really do a wear test for you guys, but I will let you know down in the comments below how I get on wear time wise, because I will have it on a good five or six hours today and I'll try it again tomorrow just to see how it's wearing. I'm really happy with that. That is a medium. It looks really, really natural. Once I've finished everything off, I will zoom in. But so far it's looking really even, a really nice level of coverage, really nice finish as well, really natural. I'm not really a matte foundation kind of girl. Oh, so I didn't think I would really like the finish, but it's much more satin. We'll see if it dries down. So for my highlighting shade, I chose the shade 100, which is ivory. It looks like this, exactly the same amount of product and everything. I'm not worried about this now. I was worried before that this was gonna to be too dry for like my under eye. I'm really impressed at how these ble were blending out. I thought like I was gonna be here for about a week. Generally, again, I'm not a fan of these products like for concealer. These like from the Fenty reviews I saw, I never picked up um, a shade for concealing but that was the kind of fail of the initial launch under Fenty because they just don't seem to do that well they don't seem to cover that well but then this is actually a foundation stick so maybe it'll do better okay that is creasing like a mother a mother under my eyes like creasing like real bad I'm gonna immediately set that for I start contouring because we're gonna have a problem, Houston. Okay, so I've set that down just under my eyes and in the rest of the places where I put that concealing shade just because we were gonna have problems if I didn't do that straight away and that seems to have slightly resolved the issue for now. We'll finish up and then we'll see what has happened since. So for contour, I picked the shade 220, which is the shade Toffee because that's what they were using on their little video ad. So this is the shade Toffee. It's quite a nice shade to be fair. Oh, so creamy, this stick, it's much, um, warmer than what I would usually use for contour. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go straight for a brush with this one because that's generally what I prefer with cream contours anyway. But for me, this is much more of a like bronzing shade than a contour because it is just really warm. But as far as the actual product, I mean, that's not their fault that I picked the wrong shade because I was so keen to jump the gun. But it actually looks really nice as like as an actual bronzer. And again, just no issues. Like I've used my sponge just to finish off because I am impatient. So I use my brush just to get it down. But it actually looks a really nice bronze shade. I feel like I feel bronzed. I feel bronzed. Just gonna add a little bit more actually because I'm that bitch. I mean, it does blend enough with the sponge. It's only because I'm impatient and I don't like to be blending for like too long. But I mean, that was the chin done. So you can see it really does blend nicely, which is why it's really nice to use like a foundation stick for like bronzing or contour because they do blend so nicely because they are just foundation. My baby hairs, I can't even tell you today. Oh my goodness, look at them. They are just on one. Do you know I think that looks so natural? Like wait till I zoom in and show you guys. I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but in person it looks so natural. It really does look like skin. I really like the finish. Go away dog hair. Okay, so moving on to blush, there were two shades. Um, this is the shade 002, which is rosy nude, which I wanted to go for because the other one was more of a sort of like 
pinky coral type shade um, and I have a billion of those. So I am gonna use, there was only two, yeah, there's only two shades of blush and I'm gonna use my little stippling brush for this one because I think that's kind of best with these products rather than going straight onto the skin. That is nice. That is nice. Oh, that is lovely. Really subtle. That is just a lovely little flush of colour. Mm. And again, oh. it's just blending in so nice, so easy. It's not taking any work at all. This is definitely blending out a lot nicer than the like NARS liquid brush that I have. And it isn't moving anything underneath, which is good news for the foundation. Other than the under eye concealer, which is not working out for me. Everything else is looking so nice. You definitely build this one up. So if you have deeper skin tone, this you can build this up and it would look beautiful. Let me just show you a little. I mean, I don't want to go any further than that because, but if you did have a deeper skin tone, this would definitely be the blush for you because the other one was probably too light. Oh, that is gorgeous. Do you see that? I really like that, really like that. And I really like the option of like a cream or a liquid blush because it's less powder on your face. And I really don't like to look too powdery. It just keeps the luminosity in the skin. I think it's much more flattering if you have texture and fine lines. I love that, I love it. Last but not least is the highlighters and there are four shades of this. There's a gold, there's like a rosy colour, like a rose gold colour, sort of peachy looking one, and then oh, this one, which of course I was very drawn to, so it's kind of like a holographic, icy, violet type of shade, so of course I had to have this one, so I'm just going to go in with my finger. That is pretty. Oh, that is nice. It's like... At this point, it's just really nice and subtle and because it's got that hollow shift to it. It's not too crazy, but I'm going to go on the other side of my beauty blender. Just see how that makes a difference. It's still quite soft. I mean, either is fine. Again, I haven't had any issues at all. It's not moving anything. It's going nicely into the skin. It's blending out like a freaking dream. To me, I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but it's really not looking holographic in person. It's literally looking like sheer. So you're just getting the glow, but you're not really getting the shift unless you sort of just catch the light just right, which is perfect because it's so much more wearable. Like I'm not really going to be wearing like a holographic, like violet highlighter on a daily basis. Like, you know, on the school run but this is like gorgeous really natural there's no like visible glitter or shimmer it's just literally like wet and shiny which is exactly what i like oh it's just so, everything is so easy and blending so nicely i can't believe it this was not what i was expecting well done l'oreal oh, i love it Okay, so let's zoom you in and give you a closer look at the finished article. So here is my face. Um, and yeah, it just looks so natural, I feel, and like, so like skin. You can see like beauty marks. It's not like full, full coverage. Although I didn't go, you know, crazy. I could have used more and maybe got a bit more coverage. I would say it's definitely a medium. Everything just looks like skin. Um, I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see the creasing that I'm talking about in my under eyes, but yeah, I wouldn't really recommend, like I wouldn't any of the stick foundations and stick products for using under your eyes. I just don't feel like they ever work as well as a liquid concealer. I love the blush. I feel like it blended really, really well, and I really like the highlighter as well. Again, I feel like even though I used the holographic supposedly holographic shade which does swatch very holographic actually looks really lovely on the skin and just catches the light but it's not too crazy to wear for every day the foundation it was so creamy to go on and i really like the finish it just looks so natural and so skin like 
it has slightly soaked into my smile lines but like every foundation does that and I actually feel like the lines on my forehead look really good I'm not sure I recommend this to oily skin types because I don't know if you can see but it is looking really quite luminous given that they are supposed to be matte sticks they are actually looking quite dewy even so yeah i think if you're due um if you are oily you're probably not going to enjoy these i would definitely you know maybe try one and see how you go but yeah to me they look really luminous radiant verging on dewy so maybe not for oily skinned people so yeah first impressions are really good i love the foundation i really like the shade i picked for contour although it has given like bronze to me i'd say more than contour because it was much warmer than i was expecting not really a fan of the concealer shade that i chose the shade is fine but yeah under my eyes i feel like I'm not going to reach for it because it is creasing and I feel like it's going to move as well even though I set it but I will let you know how it does in the comments. The blush, I love the blush. I feel like you could build it up as much or as little as you want and get as you know bright of a shade or as subtle of a shade as you want and the highlight is really pretty as well. So a massive hit for me and they are so affordable. This entire haul, this whole haul cost me just over £30 so that is a bargain especially now they've got the three for two currently on at the moment I would definitely give these a go i will let you know in the comment section down below how it wears throughout the evening and i'll also let you know um once i've tried it a couple more times and if i have any problems i will let you know down below i'm just going to finish off by showing you some swatches but this is the foundation shade in 100 ivory and in 160 which is the shade i used for my foundation and then the shade 220 caramel which was my like bronzy contoury type shade and then the blush which is 002 rosy nude you can see how much you could build that up if you had deeper skin and then the highlight in shade 500 which is frozen So thank you so much for tuning in and joining me on this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go so I can see you again. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.